TV5's Raven Blue with the details. We are on a mission to get Ray Barton justice. Former City of Flint Fire Chief Raymond Barton is suing the city and mayor over his termination after a fire that took the lives of two young boys. The $10 million lawsuit accuses the city of wrongfully firing the 34-year veteran, claiming Mayor Sheldon Neely wanted him to lie about that deadly fire. I explained, I said, you and I, everybody know that the mother and father both have their time. And I said, if you think I'm going to go in the courtroom, put my hand on the Bible and lie, I'm not going to purge myself. Barton is referring to the investigation into the fire in May of last year that killed 12-year-old Zaire and his 9-year-old brother Lamar. As previously reported, two firefighters were accused of lying about doing a full sweep of the home before radioing in an all-clear. Minutes later, other firefighters found the boys in an upstairs bedroom. Both boys were in critical condition and died days later. Barton says the mayor wanted him to lie about the investigation and and the outcome. Ray did a thorough investigation. It was his decision to terminate. At the end of the investigation, that's where it was leading. The mayor didn't want that. The mayor was running for office and it was a hotly contested race and wanted Ray to falsify the reports, leave things out, and say that he was going to change the uh, discipline. Ray refused. Barton's attorney alleges that Neely urged Barton to lie because he needed the support of the firefighters union in a bid for re-election. Nine days after Neely began his second term, Barton was terminated. I feel like a person in the military getting a dishonorable discharge. The problem is I ain't doing anything wrong. All I did was tell the truth. We reached out to the mayor's office for comment, and the city says it has not been served with the lawsuit and has no comment. Barton's attorney says it will be served very soon. In Flint, Raven Blue, WNEM-TV5.